Welcome. In this presentation, I would like to show you ways to influence the uptake of the calcium into the early fruit. So we know that roughly about 50% of the calcium is in the fruit by the time it reaches this 50 gram stage. However, it is important to note that there are some slight differences to how calcium moves into the fruit at this early part of the season compared to the later part of the season. To help you get a grasp of how a fruit tree utilizes nutrients during the early part of fruiting development in early spring, let's take a look at what's going on in the tree during the dormancy period. Here we have mobile nutrients like the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and manganese, and these nutrients are actually stored as reserves in dormant tissues like the buds, the bark, and the roots. These nutrients actually become remobilized as they move around either up or down to the growing tissues of the plant like the leaves and the flowers. When we look at the immobile nutrients like the calcium, now once calcium reaches its final destination, like shown in the diagram here of the cross section of the buds, once it reaches its final destination it becomes fixed with the plant tissues providing a structural support for the tissues like this flower buds. Now, there are some calcium that's in the wood sap as well. Calcium that has not made it to its final destination yet. It is the wood sap that pushes upward to the buds to cause the bud break in the springtime. And along with it, it provides calcium for the growth of new tissues like the leaves and the buds. So we have calcium that is a structural component of the flowers and the buds. We also have the calcium coming up from the sap fluid in the springtime. It is a combination of these two sources of the calcium that plays big roles in the early development of apple fruit in early spring, when the uptake of nutrients from the root is still very limited. Here's a nice chart that can be found on Yara's website. It shows you the nutrient accumulation in tree fruit for different tree organs. I like to focus here on the flower buds. The flower bud developments occur sometime early in the summer. And as it develops, it accumulates nutrients. Nutrient accumulation and flower buds development continue on past harvest all the way to fall time when the leaves start to fall off. It is the nutrients that get stored in the flower buds as well as in the biomass that gets utilized in the springtime. Mobile nutrients become remobilized and get used during flowering, fruit set, and the early stage of the fruit development. It is not until two to three weeks after bloom that nutrients actually gets taken up from the roots and utilized on new tissues like the leaves and the fruit. Calcium is an immobile nutrient, and it's the calcium that gets stored in the wood sap and the structural component of the flower buds that plays the role in the early part of the fruiting development in the springtime. So the higher calcium you have stored in your trees during the winter time, the higher calcium you have during your very early stage of the fruiting development before the roots can start taking up calcium from the soil. Here's a picture that shows you the flower buds of apples. In this first picture here, this is during really early springtime, probably sometime right around past petal fall timing. You can see that the flower buds are starting to develop. And the development of these flower buds continue on all the way through summer up until fall timing. And those buds will get bigger and bigger, and the biggest right before the leaves start to fall off. Here's a nice diagram that shows what happened to apple flower buds as it moves from post harvest timing to fall to winter and then spring. Right here during winter, before leaves and essence, the leaves will start to change color and all the mobile nutrients will start moving down the leaves into the buds. Calcium, however, is not mobile, so it cannot move from the leaves backward into the buds. Calcium can only move up from the soil into the tree xylem and then deposit it into the flower buds. 
In order to stimulate the uptake of nutrients into the flower buds, YAR has developed YAR Vita Bud Builder. Bud Builder can be applied at post harvest using foliar application to stimulate the development of the flower buds. And as those flower buds get bigger, it will draw in more nutrients, including calcium, into those buds. YAR recommends the use of YAR Liver Tropicode, a dry calcium nitrate product, at post harvest soil application. The calcium nitrate is readily taken up by plant roots and then up the xylem of the tree and then into the flower buds. Calcium concentration in the wood sap in the tree will also go up with the use of the calcium nitrate product. It is the calcium that gets stored in the flower buds and the calcium that gets stored in the wood sap that becomes crucial in the early part of the spring fruiting development when the root uptake of nutrients is still very limited. Here's a picture of an apple flower. This apple flower is utilizing calcium that was put there from last year. And as the weather warms up and the roots become more active, the tree will start picking up calcium from soil solution up the tree and into the fruit. As the weather warms up in the springtime, tree roots become a lot more active at taking up nutrients from the soil solution for the development of these early apple fruitlets. It is crucial at this time to use a fertilizer product that supplies available calcium to the plant and the rapidly developing apple fruitlets. Yara Liva Tropicode is a dry calcium nitrate product that is highly water soluble. It becomes immediately available for plant uptake once it's in soil solution. And many studies have been conducted over the years consistently shown higher fruitlets calcium with the use of spring application of calcium nitrate. Tropicode will also supply the fast acting nitrate nitrogen to support the growth of your apple crop. As mentioned in my previous presentation, calcium is probably the most difficult mineral nutrient to increase in apple fruit. Because most of the calcium ends up in the high transpiring tissues like the leaves instead of the fruit. So in order to maximize calcium in the fruit, it is common to apply calcium foliarly multiple times throughout the season. And it is important to use a calcium product that is water soluble and readily absorbed by fruit skin. At Yara, we offer a high quality foliar calcium product called the Yara Vita Stop It, which contains 12% water soluble calcium, one of the highest calcium concentration product in the market. It is a fairly common practice for apple growers in Washington state to start a calcium spray as early as the bloom stage and repeat the application every 7 to 14 days interval all the way to harvest. For a high value apple variety such as Honeycrisp, growers may apply as much as 16 calcium sprays throughout the season to ensure maximum level of calcium is in the fruit and to minimize the chance of calcium deficiency disorder showing up on the fruit. Thank you for watching this part 4 of my 8 parts presentation I'm making about calcium. Please stay tuned for my next presentation where I will talk about the ways to influence the uptake of calcium to the fruit on the second half of the season. Goodbye.